Hello. Well, it's Sunday the 19th. Just got back, just got in from church. And I had some thoughts. Uh, this is part two of the thing that I just did about uh, this uh, guy in the Atlanta, Atlanta massacre was killed there. Who, his parents appeared on Don Lemon show, CNN Tonight. And they were saying that, that, that they were concerned that their son would be refused a uh, uh, service at the church that, he, that he, he attended based purely on the fact that he was homosexual. And so I posted that on Friday, by just, just acknowledging that, that it had happened. Uh, on Friday night, several people posted apologies saying that they actually they got the story wrong. And it's easy enough mistake to make because I, I actually saw the, uh, the, uh, interview and it did appear that's what they were saying but what they were actually was saying was they, they were fearful of that happening and I, and I think probably because the parents know what from their because they were spiritual people knows uh, how the church has handled this situation I'm I'm blindsided I, I had no idea you know I, I didn't grow up uh, I didn't spend my, my young life as a Christian so a lot of the abuses and the things that other gay people have went through by, by trying to be in church all those years, I missed a lot of that. So uh, some of this is news to me. I didn't become a Christian until I was uh, over 40 years old, about 42 when I got clean. But uh, it's just horrible. I mean, it's just horrible. So as, especially for black people, I'm, I'm just gonna tell you how I feel. I don't. I know I can't hardly talk when I get excited, it's, it's a mess. But I'm just gonna try to say how I feel. For black people, this is really a disgrace. After, after being refused service in restaurants and made to use toilets that you wouldn't send a dog in to use, after all the things we went through as African-American people in this country, to think that, now apparently this goes on all the time. The people, they have to be heterosexual to be buried in your church. Now if that's your church, you need to uh, all meet and get, get together and figure out what the fuck it means. Because I'm just saying, you're, you're no better than, than the oppressor. The oppressed have become the oppressors. We're not second-class citizens, and this is horrendous. I, I'm, I'm, not go, I'm going to try to use language where, where I will not have connects too much to these people's story. They, they, they have their own grief. Uh, they're in, in a very bad situation. I don't want to add to their their problems with a bunch of dumbasses uh, making comments that, that, that they could hear. But just to think, a person is homosexual. Let's say I go to church. Let's say I go to church 25 years. Let's say I'm a praise and worship leader. Okay, so I'm helping to bring the spirit for 25 years. I am uh, on a uh, chicken baking committee for this department, and I'm on, and I'm, and, and let's just say I'm just giving you 10% of my income, which I don't intend to do. I don't believe in that. Uh, but let's just say I did, and my income for 20 years. You mean to tell me that? If I die, you people would not even hold a service for me based on my, what I do in my bedroom, in my own, in my own house, what I do in my bedroom. That's straight bigotry. That is, there's no other explanation for it. And I don't want to hear all this shit about where it says in Leviticus. There's a whole lot of shit in Levit Leviticus. A whole lot of stuff that you are just seem to be missing out on. Anyway, so you're saying that we're second class citizens. We don't do, and then I wonder, I said, well, I missed all that. I, I wasn't in church, but no, I've experienced it. This brought it back to my memory. And I have uh, had confirmed that this actually did happen. So the woman had good reason to think that it could happen because it, it, that's exactly what happened, what did happen. They don't want to bury him with the man or have a service in their church, in their building, which he helped pray for because he's gay. What kind of sense does that make? Just think about it. Does it make any sense at all? It doesn't. I'll think for you. You don't make no goddamn sense. Period. All right. Let me not lose my chain of thought. Okay. So I was at, uh, when I got out of prison, I had been missing from my family for close to 20 years, 17, 18 years before I even had a visit. And uh, so when I got out, I was excited. I went back and saw my family and all that kind of stuff. Well, my grandmother, she was so excited. My grandmother, she's so sweet. She was so excited that I had been 
I, I had finally got myself together or I chose to contact the family and come and visit the family and so forth. So she was so ha happy. Basically, all of my family, I, there's there got to be 100, 150 of them, go to the same church. So my grandmother, she was she wanted me to be baptized. She said, oh, you should be baptized since you're here because we're having a baptismal this weekend. And so she went and told the pastor, Let's baptize Timothy since he's here. And he went into two. This man ain't seen me in 20 years. He went to tell me, oh, we usually baptize people that are they're going to be here in this church. Like what, you're running out low on water or something? Listen, if somebody wants to be baptized, it, what about the Ethiopian? Just climb off the horse and just jump in the water. That's it. Wherever you are. But he's, he said, oh, we only baptize. I didn't let him finish. I just said, no, no, I have my own church. See, and so what I'm realizing now from this story is this has got to be happening. So when I, when I think of this, my mind immediately goes to the 80s, 90s. All of those gay people, you mean to tell me that all those people who died of AIDS and this horrible disease, but we can realize now, and you got to do it being gay, you got to do it having sex and it being a disease. All those people a good part of them were probably refused burials or services acknowledgement in your churches. It's horrible. You know what? I don't want to think of evil in your church situation because part of, part of it, big, huge part of me loves church. I mean, I love praising God. I think praising God is the big piece. I mean, actually, I believe the music part is maybe the biggest part of church. So why should we have served for you? And then we're not even acknowledged as, as people. And you've gotten away with this for way too damn long. Here's what I think. I think that those 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 uh, tax exempt statuses should be checked. Just like when they had the re restaurants, they passed the laws that said you cannot say a black person can't eat here or they got to eat back by the garbage cans. This is what needs to happen in the church. Because you cannot tell me that I, I am somehow just... Uh, by my my very essence, inferior to the person sitting right next door, door sitting right next to me. When I was in the in San Quentin, there would be people in there for double murder, and what the pastor want he wants to talk about homosexuals. Ain't that a bitch? They in there for double murder, rape, pimping, pandering, everything else. But they're closer to God than I am because I happen to be homosexual, born a homosexual. Does that make sense? Listen. We need to wake up, and these churches need to be checked. Because why should they be taking all our money? They don't pay no taxes. They keep it all for their hungry, greedy asses. They're riding around here in, in Mercedes's and Rolls Royces. Some of them living in damn castles. They don't pay no taxes, and they say that we are robbing God if we don't give them all uh, all of our, our of our money. Damn, when you pay bills, it's hardly ten percent left, and you want to take that, and then you gonna tell me you won't even bury me? This is bullshit. You know what? I don't have a lot of hate in my heart towards people. And perhaps if something good could come out of this situation is the world needs to wake up about what's going on in these Christian churches in America. So I, I always knew that you got away with not, oh, we don't want to marry them because we don't believe in What? You don't believe? You don't believe that I exist? You don't believe in my happiness? What about your family members? I know you got some Uncle Percy's in your family. Everybody do. You all act like we're some kind of goddamn aliens or some damn where. No, we're your family members. So you have treated your family members the way you chose in these church, in these ancient doctrines, over your own family. You're the disgrace. It's a disgraceful. I'm not going to... I don't want to speak out of anger. So I'm just going to say, just just leave this just, just like it is. So I imagine you didn't want to perform our weddings. At some point, you're going to perform our weddings. You're going to... Uh, Bury us at half services at the churches that we support. And you're going to treat us just like human beings. Because guess what? That's what we are. In the future, just like this, use the Bible to justify slavery. In the future, they're going to look back on these times and say, damn, we treated them like, like they weren't even human beings. Not even on the same level. And you're going to feel horrible about it in the future. Your, 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 family in, in the future, but you should feel horrible about it now. It's dead damn wrong. You do, do something about it. 
And I think you should lose those. They start looking at those tax exempt status. Why in the hell are you going to sit up here and deny human beings the ability to be treated like human beings and get away with it and then take all of our money and all of our talents and then you have the nerve to say you can't spend an hour to bury someone who's lost their life based on who in the hell he is? What the fuck kind of sense does that make? It just pisses me off. So I'm going to cut this short. I'm going to cut it short. Because I know in a minute I'm going to start yelling, screaming, and cussing at this damn TV screen. Maybe most of you, the one I'm talking to, are not even going to look at it. But I just want to know. I just want to say that I'm just becoming aware of how crazy this bigotry shit is. How insane it is. We've been through it. As a black person, I'm speaking now. We've been through this shit before. It's very painful. Disrespectful. And it needs to change. If I can do anything in my power to change the situations that exist in churches that I'll never even visit, that'll be uh, time well spent. And then we need to look at and see what we what is a Christian what is a Christian? You keep talking about your family and raising your damn kids. Does the Bible talk about you raising your kids in the New Testament? Suffer your children, let them come to me. That's about it, right? You don't turn it into your private spirituality. You've taken Christ from these people because you made him some kind of villain. Because they think that he is you and you ain't shit. I'm stopping right now because I'm, I'm getting hot. <laughs>